Hi, and welcome to Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite accessories that fit the Nikon F, F2, the entire Nikromat series, as well as the Nikon EL. Now, I've spoken about some of these before, but I just wanted to go into a little more detail. And since it seems that the F and the F2 especially are, as film has kind of made a bit of a comeback, uh, the F and F2 are very popular again. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is the Nikon AR1 soft shutter release. It is, has a female threads that screws into the male thread at the bottom of the shutter release collar on an F, F2, Nikromat, the Nikromat FT series as well as the EL, uh, ELW and the Nikon uh, EL2. And it screws in and it just raises the level of the shutter release. Okay. And um, here, let's put this on an F. All right, this is a standard prism F. Almost dropped it. All right, and it just screws right in very easily. Raises the shutter release. And uh, it's very comfortable. And again, what's great about it is it fits every F, F2, and Nikomet. Now, there are cheap imitations, okay? Um, here is a third one from a third party vendor. It was very inexpensive. Don't remember how much. Uh, I've had it for years. Uh, you're going to find these Nikon AR ones, the real thing. Um, you'll find them for sale on eBay, but I've seen them for $30, $35. Quite a bit of money for a little thing here. Sometimes you, you get a good deal, you'll get it in a package uh, in a, in a uh, lot you know, with the camera body and some other items. So, um, you know, just uh, if you really would like to have one, I would suggest you just, uh, you know, keep checking it out on eBay or, or you're, if you have a local camera store, possibly it'll come with uh, a camera body. So uh, closely related to that is Nikon's great AR2 cable release, okay? Similar to the AR1 in that it screws into, around, I should say, the base of the shutter release inside the collar. Okay, it's very secure. I've mentioned these before. They are extremely well made. I've never seen one break. Okay, these are great cable releases. They have a locking mechanism on them for time exposures. Now, why is it so great? Okay, most cameras are threaded, have female threads right in the top of the shutter release. And a conventional cable release will screw in to that. The cable release has a male thread. It's just not as secure. And most of these cable releases that I've seen are just not as well made. Okay, now the Nikromat will take either. Nikromat and even the uh, EL and EL2 uh, are threaded in the center, female threads in the center for a conventional cable release and also around the bottom of the shutter release for Nikon's excellent uh, cable release. Now, I have seen third party releases, and here's one that um, will work with the F. Because again, the F and the F2 are not, do not have those female threads in the top of the shutter release, okay? So uh, this is very cheaply made. Um, and then I also, I guess through an eBay purchase, purchased an AR2, um, and it had an accessory attached to it. It actually threaded in Okay, it had male threads, it has male threads on it that screws into the AR2 and enables it to be used on a conventional camera with a conventional you know, Canon, Minolta, Pentax, whatever. 
any camera that has the center of the shutter release threaded. So I never saw one of these before. It looks like similar material so uh, to the AR2. So I'm assuming it is an actual Nikon accessory. It has no um, identification on it whatsoever, so I'm not positive, but I believe it is a Nikon accessory. And two more things I want to talk about. One is an accessory and the other is a book. So um, if you've ever used a Nikromat, um, Nikromat has a plastic eyepiece. And uh, I'm just going to take this accessory shoe off and you to remove the accessory shoe on a Nikromat. Again, it's an accessory. Uh, it does not come standard with the camera. Okay, but in order to, to uh, remove it, you need to remove the eyepiece. And the eyepiece is hard plastic. And being an eyeglass wearer, it will inevitably scratch your glasses. So what do you do? Well, Nikon made um, rubber eye cup, and the rubber eye cup would fit around the eyepiece. But I didn't like the rubber eye cup because I couldn't get my eye close enough to the viewfinder to see the entire screen. Uh, so that was that years ago. Um, however, more recently, actually, the era of the um, FMs and FM2s and so forth, Nikon had a eyepiece that was rubber. And this eyepiece, let me just get one here, okay, will easily screw in. You remove the plastic eyepiece from the Nikromat, and this will screw in. No more scratch glasses. And the beautiful thing about this, this will also work on the Nikon Photomic T. This finder from 1965. It also had a plastic eyepiece. Okay, so we're going to unscrew that and we can screw in this rubber eyepiece. And even more wonderful is this eyepiece is still available. Now I've seen it at Adorama in New York. They have a website for $22. And um, here's the box, and it states for Nikon FM3A, FM2, FA, and FE2. However, as I have found out, it'll work on an F2. Um, It'll work with all of the F2 photomic finders. It'll work on the photomic T, photomic TN, and photomic FTN for the Nikon F. It'll work on the entire Nikromat series. It will not work on the original standard prism for the F because it's a rectangular um, finder eyepiece. I am not sure. Uh, late in the production, Ron Nikon uh, standard prism went to a um, circular eyepiece. I am not sure if this will work on that. I, was, I would assume it would, but I can't be sure. Um, so um, inexpensive, great accessory that will save your eyeglasses. And finally, back in, I guess it was around 1972, I picked up this book used uh, in Philadelphia at a used bookstore. And you can see it is falling apart. It's the Nikon F Nikromat Handbook of Photography by Cooper and Abbott. And um, it's a, a, the loose leaf version. There were also a bound version. And the nice thing with the loose leaf version, you could subscribe and they would give you updates. I think it was originally published in 1968. It is a complete reference on the Nikon F and the original Nikromats. Okay? Uh, about six months ago, I found one on eBay in beautiful condition for about 10 bucks. So uh, since mine was falling apart, I picked one up. It's got all information on all the lenses that were available up through about, I think this one was updated in the early 70s. So it, it gives you um, information sheets on all the lenses with depth of field tables, uh, complete information on the Nikon F and all the finders, the screens, and so forth. So it's a great reference. If you're a Nikon F collector or a Nikromat fan, uh, I, there were additional ones that I saw on eBay. So if you're interested, uh, you know, take a look. They're fairly inexpensive, and I think well worth a, a ten or fifteen dollar investment. So uh, that's it for my favorite um, Nikon F and F2 and Nikromat accessories. I hope you enjoyed this video, 
Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm usually publishing a new video every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So talk to you next time.